Hello everyone, Tech 1421 here. Welcome back to some more Pokemon Crystal. My no Pokeball run. In the last episode, we took on Jasmine. We got our sixth gym badge, which is really awesome. And off screen, I went ahead and went to Cinewood Island, which I'm on right now. And you talk to Chuck's wife, which is this person right here. And then you, you talk to her and she gives you the HM Fly. So I taught fly to my Togetic, and now I can fly wherever we want to go. I also taught my Kadabra Shadow Ball, and I taught Muscle, I believe, Ice Punch. So I, I, I might as well use some of the um, HMs that we have, TMs that we have. So yeah, so now that we have fly, we can fly wherever we want to, or at least the places that we've seen. And in order to progress in the storyline of this wonderful game that I'm playing, Crystal, Pokemon Crystal. You have to go to the east, and that's what we're gonna do. So, we make our way onto Route 42, and find an Ultra Ball. Now, we're not gonna go into this cave yet, because we can't really do much in this cave, right now at least. Uh, maybe later in the game, we will go into the cave. Spoiler alert, we will, at some point. Uh, luckily, we did not encounter a Pokemon right there. That's awesome, but we have some more water that we have to go across. Got a super potion. All right, one more body of water, and yeah, no Pokemon battles or no random encounters. But we are gonna battle this guy, and he's gonna demonstrate his strength on us, and we're going to show him our strength. He's fishing. Has one Pokemon and it's a Quillfish. Quillfish is pretty cool. It's level 18. We got our Togetic. We're gonna use our new move, Fly. But first, we're gonna get poison stung and luckily not get poisoned. <clears throat> All right, flew up high. He misses the attack, and then we use Fly. Fly does a good amount of damage, uh, and it's gonna hit for stab because Togetic is. Is it normal flying? I believe Togetic is normal flying. Uh, we did get poisoned there, unfortunately. But there's a Pokemon center really close. Don't use Minimize. Oh, don't use Minimize. It's my one of my least favorite moves in the game. Luckily, we do hit. That should kill. Cool. So Togetic gets some XP. And we're moving on. Fisher Tolly has one Pokemon. Alright. Oh, have another uh, battle here. Forgot about him. <laughs> I guess he does look like a trainer, does he? Doesn't he? All right, all right, trainer. He's pointing his finger somewhere. Hopefully not at us. He's wearing the color purple. As I'm recording this, I actually have some purple shorts on and a purple hat. Try to imagine that. Yes, I know it's a kind of a weird color, but I like the color purple. It's not one of my favorite colors, I just... It was my college's team color. We were the Grapes of Wrath. And our colors were green and purple. So, because that's the color of grapes. I know, craziness. But yeah, that's what we did. Uh, I'm going to use Swift here. Swift should get the kill. You're only level 16, buddy. Awesome. 400 XP will grow us to level 29. Dug dick. I did want to mention also that um, Jolteon in this game, not the greatest. Now Jolteon's an amazing Pokemon and all, I don't have anything against Jolteon. But in this game, I don't even know who we're going to put in right now, but uh, Jolteon in this game doesn't do very well. It's not that great of a Pokemon. So I was doing some research, I was trying to figure out who I want for my team. And you'll see soon enough, but we're eventually actually going to replace Jolteon on our squad. So not only will Shuckle be replaced, but also Jolteon. So there's going to be two new party members at some point in the playthrough. You can guess what they are going to be, but uh, I'm not going to tell you until we find them, until we get them. Uh, I might end up telling people sooner or later, but um, let's... Uh, Togetic, you're, you're kind of injured now, buddy. We're gonna put you down. We're gonna give Muscle some, some light, some spotlight there. And oh, got got noticed by that trainer. Try to sneak around him, was unable to do so. 
That's okay, though. We will just have to battle him. Because that is what people do in this game. The thing that I, I don't understand, I mean, like, it's it's one thing if you're trying to speed the run the game, I, I could understand that, but I don't know I don't know why people try to avoid trainers so much. It's it's Pokemon, you're battling Pokemon, you know, like it's part of the game. You know? If, if there's no battling aspect to it, then what's the point? Maybe you're trying to get somewhere fast, I don't know. Uh Doug Trio is up next. And still level only 16. Try attack? I didn't know Doug Trio can learn try attack, especially not that early. That's pretty cool. We get burned. Does burn half your attack in Gen 2? Uh, I don't know, because that it's super effective anyways. Look at all that XP. Muscle, you're amazing. Next up is Geodude. We're going to switch into Krakenau. Krakena, I was looking up the moves that uh, Fraligator can eventually learn, and, and the only one that came to mind that's going to change our move setup is is a Hydro Pump. So, um, yeah, <laughs> and we might not even use Hydro Pump. We might just continue to use Surf, because I like Surf because it doesn't miss or it, it's a hundred percent accuracy move, and so yeah, it starts off at hundred percent accuracy. Now people can use minimize and stuff like that, and it changes all that math and things and stuff. But yeah, I I would rather use a move that's that's really geared because it doesn't miss. Opposed to hydro pump, which is 80%, and it really feels like 50% when you use it, especially when you're recording a video. It seems like it always misses. Alrighty, so we fully healed our Pokemon, which is fantastic. You will notice there is someone in front of the gym. And we're uh, like, hey, can we get into the gym? And they're like, uh, they're at Lake of Rage, which is above us to the north. And if you notice, if we try to go to the east, this guy's like, no. Um, hey, kid, I see you're new in Mahogany Town. Since you're new, you should try a yummy rare candy bar. Right now, it's just $300. Nope, I'm good. Rip off. It does uh, basically the same amount of damage as a potion, or it heals the same amount of damage as a potion does. Um, is this the right place that we go to? Maybe. Uh, let's, let's ask this guy. Hello, sir. Is this the person that I'm looking for? Maybe. Maybe not. I know there's a, there's a house somewhere that we're supposed to go in. I just don't know which one to go into. You gotta fight Red Gyarados first. That's, that's what we did wrong. We have to fight Mr. Red Gyarados, sir, person. Uh, let's see. Now, see, I, I walked by this trainer. I did exactly what I said I wouldn't do. Like, why do people walk by trainers? It's because I was trying to get somewhere and not make the episode that long. That, that's kind of my that's kind of my reasoning, and that's I, I'm I'm sure that's why people do it in Let's Plays, anyways. Is they, they're focused on time. They want to get a certain amount of things accomplished in that episode. So yeah, that's probably probably what people are doing. So I kind of take my statement back a little bit. Not really. I like battling trainers. Uh, Sand Slash is up next. We're going to be switching in between Croconaw and Muscle. Uh, but Croconaw does evolve at level 30. So... It's coming up very shortly there, Croconaw. And I would love to get you to be a Fraligator, because Fraligator is awesome! Alright, might be one more Pokemon. Zubat! I'm gonna switch into Kadabra. And I do have, I, I don't know if I've ever mentioned this, I, I, I'm sure I'd have, that I have a hack on this ROM where you don't have to trade uh, to evolve Pokemon. So, Kadabra, I, I believe it's, it's like either 32 or 36, I kind of forget. And Machamp, it's, to get Machamp, it's, uh, 
from a Machoke, it's like level 48, something, something around there. Uh, I have the exact totals somewhere, but um, yeah, so we, we don't have to trade. We can just, they just evolve uh, when they're ready. Oh, here's some uh, some grunts. Some Team Rocket grunts. The toll is a thousand to go through. Thank you very much. Wow, jerks. Okay. Alright, so I got out of the building, so now I have to pay the toll again. Which is awesome. As soon as I mentioned that I have a hack on this ROM, it started to like glitch out a little bit, so... Stay with me here. I know the, f the frame rate is not ideal right now, but I want to go up to the north and fight Red Gyarados. That's, that's my goal. And I want to do it by the end of this episode. I don't want to make the episode too long. So we're going to fight one more trainer, actually probably two more trainers. And then we're going to fight Red Gyarados. Unfortunately, we cannot catch it. So this is going to be like the one time that I see a shiny Pokemon. And I'm not going to try to catch it. So I've actually never seen. I've seen a wild Pokemon, a shiny wild Pokemon once in my entire career. I'm going to call it a career. Of playing video games, Pokemon games. It's a level 19 Nidoking King down. But I've, I've seen one shiny Pokemon, and that was a shiny Kakuna. And I evolved it into a shiny Beedrill. And yeah, I that was in Heart Gold. And now it's in my uh, whatever the new games are. I, I, it's it's probably in my Pokemon X version at the moment. It could be in Omega Ruby, I don't know. It could be in my Pokebank. Yes, I pay five dollars a year for Pokebank. Uh, actually, I haven't renewed it this year yet because I haven't actually gotten the new Pokemon game. But here's a slow bro. Slow bro bro. Slow. Uh, and I haven't gotten the new Pokemon games yet because I actually don't have a good reason. So, sorry. Um, yeah, this isn't the best matchup right here. So I'm actually probably going to switch out. Go into Croconaw. Whoops. Pokemon! Croconaw! Choose you. Now, if Jolteon could learn an Electro-type move while leveling up, then, yeah, Jolteon would be cool and all. But you have to go to the game corner and buy Thunder for a ridiculous amount of money, or you have to level up to, like, level 50-something. Or forty something, so it's not worth it. So it's just not—it's just not worth it, Jolteon. I'm sorry, buddy. Um, that was super effective, but Slowbro has good defense, so it didn't really do too much. And our attack falls. Oh boy! Come on, bite. There we go. Got the job done. Slowbro has fainted, and Crocodile does not get qu there quite yet. So close. So close. Alrighty. Are there any more trainers? Here's the Lake of Rage. Talk to this guy. He's like, the Gyarados are angry. It's a bad omen. And we're gonna be like, hey, let's surf on our Croconaw. And there is the wild Gyarados, but we have to fight this random Magikarp first. It'd be it would be so funny if the Magikarp turned into, it was was a shiny Magikarp. I'm gonna run because we don't need to face it. Uh, who wants to face Red Gyarados? I think Togetic does. Switch. Togetic, I choose you to fight Red Gyarados. Gyarados. It's exactly how it sounds. You ask anyone from the anime, they made the game, they're like, yep, that's how it sounds. That's what sound he made. Gyarados, Red Gyarados, is level 30. Comes at level 30 in all the games. It's always shiny. It's one of the only shiny Pokemon that you for sure get that's shiny. Uh, that sentence probably didn't make any sense at all. Um, it's one of the few... Conversion 2, what the heck. It's one of the 
a few times that a random Pokemon it is going to be shiny. Um, always going to be shiny. Thrash. That might do a lot of damage. Metronome! Yeah, we used Dig! What are you going to do now, Gyarados? I know you're flying type and we're going to miss, but you're also going to miss Thrash. It doesn't affect Gyarados. Yeah, I know. So? Uh, let's use one more. Gyarados is confused. Hurt yourself, please. Yeah! We did it! We did something good, Togetic. Encore! I encored him into attacking himself. Uh, I'm gonna use Fly. Confuse! No, Thrash. That should We should be okay. We did live that one. Now Gyarados is gonna miss. Yeah! And we're gonna use Fly. And it did not do too much damage. Uh, I'm gonna go into my Crocana to fight this Gyarados. And he's gonna use Thrash on us. Oh boy. Um, I'm gonna use Ice Punch? Is that the best move to use? Maybe. I mean, the best move to use is Gyarados just keep on hurting himself, to be honest. Okay, that did, that did like literally no damage at all. Um, I don't think Surf is gonna do that much, but I think it might be the best move to use. Leer? Leer? Oh boy! Don't leer me! That was rude. Gyarados? Okay, that did even less damage. Um, let's use Cut. Dragon Rage, it does exactly 40 HP. So it'll be down to 10. And we're gonna use Cut! And we kill it. So Cut was probably the best move to use. Togetic, 458. Krakena is going to gain 458 as well and grows to level 30. Let's look at those those uh, stats real quick. Attack at 65, pretty good. Proud of that. Uh, what? Krakena is evolving? Crocona, congratulations! Your Crocona evolved into a Fralligator. Fralligator. I like Fralligator a lot. Attack obtained a Red Scale. Red Scale is uh, not a very useful item in this game. Uh, we're gonna get a phone call, but we're gonna end the episode here because uh, it's gone on too long, and there's a lot to do in the next part. So. If you could, please leave a like. That'd make me happy. It'll show that you're enjoying the series. And uh, I know not too many people are watching the series, but I'm enjoying putting it up. So I'm, in, I'm enjoying uploading videos for this series. So that's why I'm going to continue to do it. So ha. Uh, hopefully you enjoyed. And I'll see everyone next time. Peace.